In this episode of the Azure Enablement Show, we're going to be talking about the advantages of migrating Windows Server from on-prem to Azure and all the skilling resources that are available to help you along the way. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Azure Enablement Show. I'm your host, Aaron Stark, and with me today is my colleague, Priyanka, to tell us about some of the great learning materials available to help your IT team migrate your Windows Server from on-prem to Azure. Welcome, Priyanka. Thank you, Aaron. Um, it's great to be on the show with you. Super excited to have you. Uh, to get us started today, could you tell our viewers about some of the benefits of migrating from on-prem to Azure? Definitely. I think migration of on-prem vendor workloads uh, to Azure comes with a ton of benefits. I will say no matter which industry a customer is from, some of the top benefits that cut across all industries are the flexible, the secure, and the scalable infrastructure that the customers can gain access to. Um, and that translates into them becoming more agile, cost efficient, and of course, um, innovative. Um, I will also add, if you are in a highly regulated industry like healthcare, government, or finance, Azure has specialized offerings that can really help you meet those compliance requirements. Um, and last but not the least, security is so top of mind for all organizations. Azure offers built-in cloud-native security solutions to help customers migrate from their existing security tools to cloud security. Okay, interesting. It definitely sounds like there is a lot of strategic decision-making when it comes to migration, specifically migrating Windows Server to run on Azure. Um, it sounds like a little bit more than a technical shift. Can you elaborate on this? Definitely, Aaron. I think you're spot on there. Um, I would call it a strategic shift for organizations. AI is so top of mind for so many organizations. Uh, migration to Azure is a prerequisite to tap into all the awesome AI capabilities that can be available to customers once they actually move their workloads to Azure. Sure. Um, and we have a ton of guidance to support uh, customers, to support other organize, you know, to support these organizations when they actually make that move from their on-prem Windows Server workloads to Azure. Got it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Can you actually expand a little bit more on this guidance and how our viewers can learn more about migration? So Microsoft offers a ton of guidance, uh, Aaron, to support customers in their migration journey. We have skilling programs, we have in incentives, we have migration tools, and a team of qualified specialists that can support customers uh, through their entire uh, migration journey. Dio, I'm going to focus on skilling. Now, skilling is one of the biggest hurdles that customers face when they are moving to the cloud. Um, I will say Microsoft Learn is really the heart of all the skilling programs and the content that we have put in place. I'll focus on two of our most popular programs in this video. Uh, one is a cloud skills challenge and the other is a virtual training day. Now, um, I will say that all programs are virtually delivered and free for everyone, which means that anybody, wherever, can take these programs, can leverage the value uh, and the benefits that these programs offer. Uh, right now, um, what you're looking at is a cloud skills challenge. Now, cloud skills challenges are free for everyone. They are self-guided learning tools on specific topics. They carry curated content developed by product experts. Now, in this particular Cloud Skills Challenge, a learner will gain knowledge that they will need to configure Windows Server core and advanced workloads and services using on-prem, hybrid, and cloud technologies. Um, cloud Skills Challenges are available in multiple languages, once you start the Cloud Skills Challenge, you get 30 days to finish it. This particular Cloud Skills Challenge has content which should typically take a learner 16 hours. And on successful completion of this Cloud Skills Challenge, a learner can get a 50% discount voucher that can be used for any of the Microsoft certification exams. In this particular case, I highly recommend learners to sign up for the AZ-800 certification. The content that you're seeing on the screen for this Cloud Skills Challenge actually derives a lot of content which is packaged in the AZ-800 certification. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this page, we have a 
a ton of FAQs at the end that can provide you with the most relevant information that you would need to successfully complete this Cloud Skills Challenge. Awesome. Virtual training days are also free for everyone. These are instructor-led training sessions. What you're looking at right now is the Fundamentals Virtual Training Day. It's one of our most popular training programs. This specific virtual training day will help you develop an understanding of foundational cloud concepts and expand your knowledge of cloud models and service types. Virtual training days are available in multiple languages and in multiple time zones. The best part is that um, you have a live Q&A with product experts. So as a learner, you can sign up for a virtual training day. And as you go through the training content with an instructor, you can actually ask your questions and get your questions answered right uh, on the spot. We also have a specific virtual training day, which is focused on migrations of Windows Server. Now, this virtual training day that you're looking at right now, this can be really, learners can really leverage quick virtual training day to enhance their skill in Microsoft Cloud technologies and explore Azure's comprehensive and flexible environment for secure workload migration, covering on-prem Windows Server and SQL Server transitions to the cloud. Learn to identify and address security vulnerabilities and manage server workloads in hybrid environments. Okay, and this is really just the tip of the iceberg, Aaron. We have a ton of resources that customers can use in their migration journey. We will provide multiple links uh, for you in the description section below. Wow, these resources are incredible. And I'm sure that our viewers will want to uplevel their skills with Microsoft's huge library of skilling content uh, for anyone that's actually interested to learn more about Azure migration. And thank you, Priyanka, for joining me today on the Azure New Women Show and chatting with us about all the advantages of migrating from Windows Server on-prem to Azure. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on the show, Aaron. It's been a pleasure. And to our viewers, if you have any questions about Azure migration, leave them in the comment section below so we can get back to you. And of course, if you like today's episode, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, so you don't miss out on any future Azure enablement shows. Bye.